name is Brad Leiders, and I'm the VP for Professional Services for BI Consulting Group, a consulting firm focused on implementing OBI, EE, and the BI applications. Norval asked me to provide a couple of um, customer case studies, uh, just be an overview of these. It wasn't on these implementation teams, but we had uh, the NCG teams on these, and I think this can help give you a better feel for uh, what you might be looking at and answer questions on as you look at the applications for your people soft. You know, I'm going to give a bit more background in regards to the configuration of the BI applications and OBI and E. So a common question that people are going to have as they look at these is you know, how much of the out of the box can be used versus how much of this do you have to configure? Uh, or extend, um, and when you look at the different components that Lincoln's described, starting at the bottom with all the data movement and ETL, um, and moving to the middle part with the data model and the metadata and the important dashboards, we find that the majority um, of the configuration takes place toward the top of that, but that's also the place where once you've developed the foundation, you know, that expert analogy that Ling went through, the reports and dashboards are very, very quick to implement with OBIE. So the real work in implementing a data warehouse is already done and is highly reused. The ETL may need to be configured slightly um, for flex fields that you've used. Um, if there was additional data elements that we need to get from additional data sources and so forth. But to a very, very large degree, the ETL can be used as is. The metadata um, and the, the data model might be need to be configured also for those flex fields, additional data elements that need to be brought in. The metadata requires perhaps, in a lot of cases, a little bit more configuration. And I'll go to some percentages here. Um, in order for the calculations to meet your specific calculations, perhaps you measure headcount a little bit differently than the out of the box. Uh, the application does. The other box applications are based on industry best practices. They often are very helpful for customers to evaluate, to look at, um, and they can get ideas from on how to do some of these measurements and KPIs, but they are, um, oftentimes companies have their own ways to do these. The metadata would also be configured so that the names of all the fields would be the names that you use, your specific names. and so that they are easy for your users to use as they're building reports. And then as we already discussed, the reports and dashboards are, are very commonly um, customized to a large degree in order to meet the specific needs of your users. They do come with pre-built reports and dashboards that oftentimes are good for prototyping or for early demonstration of um, the content. Um, and then you'd want to um, build those out for your, your needs. So during a project like this, early on, you would do um, and once you've gathered your requirements and you know your exact requirements that you want to get out of the solution, then your data gap analysis phase where you look at those requirements versus the other box content and from there create an inventory of the configuration needs you're going to have. So when you get done, um, everything above the surface that the user sees is going to look exactly the way um, that it needs to look for your particular user communities, for the insight that they're looking for. Um, and everything below the surface is going to be um, highly uh, reused with the out of the box solution. When we look at the time effort of using the B applications versus um, traditional custom built data warehouses, uh, when you're deploying these against um, EBS, Seabor PeopleSoft, uh, where the adapters already exist for those, we find that. The BI applications take about a third as much effort, um, I think in some cases even less, than a custom data warehouse. If you imagine the team of developers that would be required to develop the tremendous number of Informatica mappings or ETO and the data model, um, then there's just a tremendous um, savings. And in, in maybe even more importantly, there's an acceleration of delivery. So, you know, not only is it going to cost less and take less work effort, but by using the applications, you're going to deliver value to the business more quickly, um, which is going to help your business uh, meet some of its goals, um, and as well as establish um, momentum, probably establish additional budget for your team and so forth. I know another point on that slide, 
in the middle there, we have an estimation for deploying the applications against a non-Oracle backend. And believe it or not, there's so much value in the applications that that is done, and we've done that um, on a number of occasions. We have uh, a large financial um, entity in the Northeast who um, we have just completed deploying HR analytics. They do not own one of the Oracle uh, backends. So we have, in that case, used what's called the Uniflow adapters that allow you to implement the applications on any system. Um, and there's still a huge savings even in that case.